The problem is not the problem. The problem is the way you're overthinking the problem. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we listen in as our friend Julia Christina talks with us about how to stop catastrophic thinking. Enjoy. So we're going to talk about this one. We're going to talk about how to get a handle on those catastrophizing thoughts once and for all. And these catastrophizing thoughts really do hijack our minds and disempower us. That they take over our minds and can keep us living in fear, in worry, in self-doubt, in anxiety, in overstress. And so let's talk about why this is happening. A big reason, not the entire reason, but a big reason why this is happening and what we can do about it. And a big reason why this happens is because our brain is designed to keep us alive. That is your brain's, one of its number one goals is to keep you alive. And back in caveman days, there is part of our brain that still was the same brain as back then. It has evolved and it has grown, but there is still this kind of lizard brain in there who has sort of survival instinct as its main function. And so back in those days, yeah, there were actual threats to survival that people weren't living in houses that were protected from the elements, um, that there were wild animals roaming about, that there weren't kind of walls protecting from people coming in and stealing things. And, you know, in all fairness, there are still people in the world who do live under that real threat, who are in imminent danger. But that's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about imagined threat, a perception of threat, and oftentimes about things that aren't actual real threats to our lives and how to get a handle on those thoughts. Because our brain oftentimes doesn't know the difference between a real threat and an imagined threat. When you have a perception of danger, your brain doesn't know that this is a perception. Your brain thinks this is real danger. And so it goes into that fight, flight, or freeze mode. It goes into that panic mode. It goes into that overstressing and overworrying, and it just sort of gets hijacked and the adrenaline starts pumping and, you know, everything is just sort of going on hyperdrive and maybe like, you know, all the blood goes to our limbs because it's getting ready to protect itself, to fight or flight, to stick up their dukes or run away and get the heck out of there. And so our brain starts to go crazy and our body starts to go crazy as well. And so what do we do? How do we manage it when this comes up, when these catastrophizing thoughts come up? And one thing that we often do, and let me know in the comments section below if you have ever done this, if you have ever said, you know, what if this happens? What if this person rejects me? What if this person betrays me? What if I fail? What if people think bad things about me? What if, what if this doesn't work out? What if this doesn't go the way that I want it to? What if, what if, what if? Let me know in the comment section below if you have ever gotten freaked out with that question, what if? And I want to see all of you guys commenting down there so that we all know that we're not alone or weird or broken or flawed for thinking or feeling these things because we all do it. Let us know. Yep, I've totally done the what if. But here's what where the problem is, is that that is not actually a bad question to say to ourselves, well, what if? What if this happens? But the thing is, is that we stop and we don't actually answer the question. What if I fail? What if I put all this work into this thing and it totally flops? What if I, you know, jump into this relationship? What if I get into this relationship and the person ends up leaving me? What if I apply for this job and I don't get the job? What if I lose my job? And then we freak out like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? But we don't actually answer the question. What if that happens? Play it out. Give that fear a run for its money and say, okay, what if this happens? And then, you know, what if this happens? What if I fail? Well, then, you know, it's going to be hard. I'm going to have to get back up. I'm going to have to do it again. I'm going to have to figure out what I did wrong. I'm going to have to learn. 
I'm going to have to try again or I can try something else. Okay. You know, or what if I lose my job? Okay. What if I lose my job? Is this the absolute end of the world? Well, chances are I'm going to work and do what I need to do and boost up my resume and do whatever and get out there and, you know, pound the pavement and find another job. You know, the the chances of that being a real threat, and for some people losing their job is a real threat, but oftentimes it becomes a real threat when they get stuck in that fear of like, what if I don't get another job? And what if I can't do it? And what if I'm not smart enough? And then so they get so overwhelmed and stressed out with all of their fear thoughts that they end up paralyzing themselves into inaction. And then bad things do happen. So when we let our brain hijack us like that, then we actually oftentimes we're more likely to have that feared outcome because we get kind of paralyzed into that inaction and we don't do anything and we don't get up and figure out what we need to do and what action, you know, what steps we need to take and what action we need to take. What if this person leaves me? What if I'm in this relationship and this person leaves me? Well, how will I deal with it? Yeah, it'll hurt. It will be painful. I will heal from that. I will go to therapy. I will go to a support group. I will whatever it is. I will let time heal and I will move on. It will be painful, but it's not going to slay me unless I get caught in all of these freaked out, fearful thoughts. So playing that out to the end, that really looking at that, what if this happens? How will I deal with it? How will I get through it? Answer the question. What if it happens? How will I deal with it? How will I get through it? How will I move on? And all of a sudden that fear, it maybe doesn't go away completely, but it gets taken down quite a lot of notches because we're not stuck in that panic like, "Uh, what if? Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled view the full video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.